first so today's topic for our lecture is related to breaks so for that purpose i want to share my screen so i start with introduction so the brake is the device used to stop any vehicle by applying the frictional forces okay so different materials are provided or different components are available in case of brakes and uh, uh, actually this is the application of frictional force when we apply the uh, brake that is when we apply the uh, uh, brake in case of four wheeler so we apply the force through our uh, leg and from that uh, leg the force is uh, transmitted to the liver and that liver presses uh, the uh, drums and uh, linings all this uh, type of materials and due to that uh, friction uh, if if two uh, surfaces are in contact coming in contact with each other then frictional gets created so this phenomenon same phenomenon is applicable in case of this uh, brakes so one of the most important control components of vehicle why it is called as control components because uh, when we are uh, going uh, through our car and if any obstacle comes in between the road so at that time we instantly apply the brake and uh, due to that uh, the major accident may uh, avoided due to this uh, uh, action they are required to stop the vehicle within the smallest possible distance so the range of stopping is less so uh, if we identify any obstacle may come uh, after some time then we instantly apply the brake and uh, only small distance it take uh, for stopping complete stopping of the vehicle this is done by converting the kinetic energy of the vehicle into heat energy which is dissipated into atmosphere so actually uh, as as vehicle is in running condition so uh, kinetic energy is available in vehicle when we apply the brakes then that is converted into the uh, uh, heat energy due to the friction so when we rub our hands with each other or uh, uh, if we rub our palms with each other then uh, heat is created there so same uh, happens in case of that brakes also so two surfaces are uh, uh, coming in contact with each other and due to that friction is uh, created and uh, due to that friction a lot of heat is gets released and that heat is released into the atmosphere what what are the requirements of the brakes if we see that brake must be strong enough to stop the vehicle with a minimum distance in an emergency we already discussed this point second point is brakes must have good anti fade characteristics that is their effectiveness should not decrease with prolonged application this requ requirement demands cooling of brakes should be very efficient okay if uh, the, the cooling system is not available in case of brakes then a uh, lot of heat is created and due to that heat the material gets damaged so this is required if we see the types of brakes the brakes of an automobile are classified into uh, first type is according to the purpose what type of purpose the vehicle or that brakes can be used so according to the purpose then according to the location where we use that then construction how you manufacture that then method of actuation uh, what type of power or source of power is used in that uh, brakes brake application so extra braking effort what type of extra braking effort we provided into that brake system so according to that different classifications are there if we consider the purpose from this point of view brakes are classified as service or primary and parking or secondary brakes okay service brakes is there or primary brake is there and parking brake or secondary brake is there according to the location from this point of view brakes are located at wheels or at transmission okay so uh, at the location of wheels or transmission itself we provide the braking system if we see the construction according to the construction brakes are drum brakes and disc brakes so if we use the drums or if we use the disc in according to that uh, we classify two different types that is drum brakes and disc brakes method of actuation uh, method of actuation 
actuation uh, in this case the what type of power or source of power we provided for applying the brakes according to that mechanical brakes are there hydraulic brakes are there electric brakes are there vacuum brakes air brakes by wire brakes these are the different methods of actuation then drum brakes if we see the drum brake according to the uh, construction we already discussed drum brake and disc brakes are there so from that type if we consider the drum brakes so shoe press against a spinning surface in this system that surface is called as drum drum brakes have more parts than disc brakes and are harder to service but they are less expensive to manufacture. If we consider the comfort, then disc brakes should give us the comfort. But if we consider the cost, then disc brakes having costly as compared to drum brakes. If we see the diagram of drum brakes, so different, many components are there like this. Uh, the springs are provided. So this is called as primary return spring. Then this is secondary return spring. So the next part is uh, adjuster cable is available here then uh, which is attached with star wheel or self adjuster after that uh, the next component this is adjuster spring then this is shoe hold down spring then parking brake link this is primary brake shoe this is wheel cylinder okay so these are the components of drum brake if we consider the disc brake, this is the second type uh, according to the construction. This is the disc brake. The disc brake consists of a cast iron disc bolted to wheel hub and stationary housing called caliper. Caliper is connected to some stationary part of vehicle like axle. When brakes are applied, piston moves friction pads into contact with disc, applying equal and opposite force on disc. On releasing brakes, the rubber sealing rings act as a return springs and retract piston and friction pads away from the disc. If we consider the diagram, this is the diagram. Uh, so here, this is wheel bearing, then uh, wheel studs are provided, then uh, disc or this green part is called as disc or rotor, and this orange part is called as disc pads, okay, or this uh, orange part is actually caliper assembly. And here the material is provided for applying the brake. This is called as disc pads. If we see the mechanical brakes, mechanical brakes are assemblies consist of mechanical elements for the slowing or stopping of vehicles. They use levers or linkages to transmit the force from one point to another. There are several types of mechanical brakes like band brakes. The simplest brake configuration have a metal band line with heat and wear resistant friction material. Drum brakes, which are commonly used on automobile rear wheels, work when shoes press against a spinning surface called a drum. These brakes are constructed of brake pads, a caliper, and a rotor. During operation, the brake pads are squeezed against the rotor. Cone brakes are made with a cup and a cone, which is lined with a heat and wear resistant material. As the shape is like cone shape, so it is called as cone brakes. During actuation, the cone is pressed against the mating cup surface. If we see the next type, that is band brakes. Uh, this, this diagram is related to band brakes. So lever is shown here, then pulley is shown here. Okay, and um, an attachment is provided. And if we consider this is the cable, then this is T1 and this is T2. Actually, these are the tensions. And uh, this A is the, when we apply the force that is represented with Fi, then speed is shown with N. The principle is that band is wrapped part around a rotating drum. Tension can be applied to the band using a lever. The restraining torque results from the difference in tension between the two ends of the belt. If, if we consider the hydraulic brakes, so if we apply the small amount of force, then, uh, it converted into large amount of force. So this system is hydraulic brakes. The hydraulic brake is an arrangement of braking mechanism which uses brake fluid, especially ethylene glycol to transfer the pressure from the controlling unit to the actual brake mechanism of the vehicle. Parts of hydraulic brakes, uh, brake pedal is there, then push rod is there, master cylinder assembly is there. As this is hydraulic part, so master cylinder is must. So master cylinder assembly is provided, then brake caliper assembly is provided. If we see the diagram, this is the diagram related to hydraulic system. So actually right side, if we see, this is the push rod to brake pedal lever. Then uh, if we see here, this is a compensatory port. 
then fluid insert port is there then return spring is provided here this is master cylinder pistons then uh, hydraulic lines are shown here then uh, bleed wall is shown here this is caliper assembly actually uh, next is o-ring is provided then brake caliper piston is provided then brake, brake pads are provided this is the caliper rotor brake disc is provided here and this is brake fluid and all this related to master cylinder assembly in that master cylinder assembly this is a uh, return spring is uh, provided and master cylinder piston is provided and this fluid is also come under the heading of master cylinder assembly system operations as the brake pedal is pressed a push rod exert a force on the piston in the master cylinder if we apply the brake then this is the push rod if we see this master cylinder piston this piston moves according to the application of the uh, brake so push rod exerts a force on the pistons in the master cylinder this force forces fluid through the hydraulic lines towards the calipers the brake caliper okay uh, that fluid it's transmitted to the caliper so see here one pipe is shown this is hydraulic lines and from that hydraulic lines that oil gets transmitted towards this yellow color part and this is the brake caliper so uh, that fluid comes on the brake caliper then apply the force to the brake pads this causes them to be pushed against the spinning rot rotor and the friction between the pads and the rotor causes a braking torque to be generated that is slowing the vehicle if we consider the electric vehicles in case of electric sorry electric brakes in case of electric brakes electric brakes are actuator devices that uses an electric current or magnetic actuating force to slow or stop the motion of a rotating vehicle there are two main types of electric brakes that is magnetic and friction the magnetic brakes are non contact brakes that uses magnetic fields to actuate the braking components permanent magnetic brake electromagnetic brake eddy current brakes hysteresis powered brakes all these comes under the electric brakes permanent magnetic brakes if we consider the application it uses in case of electric motors then robotics in case of these applications if we want to apply the brakes in this type of components then we use permanent magnetic brakes advantages high and accurate torque long life unaffected by power supply safe and easy to use these are the many advantages in case of permanent magnetic brake if we consider the same brake and if we see the disadvantages it requires a constant control current control to offset the permanent magnetic field the next is electromagnetic brake if we see the application it copy the machines sorry uh, copy type of machines then conveyor drives packaging machinery printing machinery food processing machinery and factory automation in this type of applications we use electromagnetic type of brakes if we see the advantages fast response time smooth reliable and backlash free operation it produces high torque automatic air gap so all these are the applications then um, disadvantages braking force diminishes as speed diminishes okay load cannot be held at a stand still causing safety concern if we see the eddy current brakes application is train and roller coaster brakes if we see the train brakes or roller coaster is again uh, the the big uh, the uh, amusement park uh, and in that uh, roller coaster is a place and uh, uh, for applying that roller coaster heavy weight is available there and uh, in the in that case eddy current brakes are applied advantages the non contact then frictionless resettable lightweight few moving parts these are the advantages if we see the disadvantages unusable at low speeds generates a lot of heat hysteresis powered brakes then application is food and drug packaging operations then clean rooms environmental test chambers load simulation for live testing on rotating devices capping bolting and other screwing applications so all this type of applications uh, in that hysteresis powered brakes are used if we see the advantages and disadvantages in case of advantages long maintenance free life cost effective operational smoothness torque repeatability road speed range environmental stability high dissipation 
capability the torque remains constant and smooth and response response with increases and decreases in current if we see the disadvantages experiences the silent pole phenomenon called cogging and undesirable pulsating output torque which prevents smooth and efficient operations of this system if we see servo brake system this is again next type of braking system servo mechanism a servo mechanism or servo is an Atom automatic device that uses error sensing negative feedback to correct the performance of a mechanism. Okay, so it gives the feedback and according to that feedback, uh, the correction takes place to correct the performance of a mechanism. It applies only to systems where the feedback or error correction signals helps control the mechanical position, speed or other parameters. It is an electronically controlled mechanical or hydraulic device permitting a large action or strong forces to be controlled by small electric signals. Then next type is power brakes. These are the brakes in which power of engine or battery is used to enhance the braking effort. These are four types of uh, power brakes. That is vacuum brakes, air brakes, then hydraulic booster brake and electro hydraulic booster brakes. So these are the four types. In between first type is vacuum brake. Vacuum brake system is controlled through a brake pipe connecting a brake valve in the driver's cab with braking equipment on every vehicle. The operation of the brake equipment on each vehicle depends on the condition of a vacuum created in the pipe by an ejector or exhauster. If we see the diagram of uh, pipe vacuum brake system used in uh, BR diesel cars. Okay, so uh, this is brake gauge. If we see here driver's brake valve, then feed valve is available, which is connected to the reservoir pipe, then uh, which is connected towards the isolating valve. Isolating valve is connected to the high vacuum reservoir. Then reservoir pipe is again connected to the upper portion that is exhauster or it is at the end uh, drive from a diesel engine is shown. And after that, from the uh, from the reservoir pipe again it is one connection is provided towards the uh, brake cylinder then ball wall is provided here then brake uh, rigging is there and then uh, this is actually application of the brake air brakes the operation of air brakes is similar to hydraulic brake except that the compressed air is used to apply the brake instead of hydraulic pressure air brakes are commonly uh, air brakes are commonly used on heavy vehicles like trucks, buses, etc. Third point is anti-lock braking system. Due to the excessive braking, uh, brakes are locked, which causes skidding. Skidding is avoidable by releasing braking pressure just before wheels are locked up and then reapplying same. This process is called pressure modulation. The modern ABS consists of an electronic control unit, that is ECU, one sensor on each wheel, an electrically driven hydraulic pump, and pressure accumulator. Accumulator is used to store the hydraulic fluid to maintain high pressure in braking system. It is charged with nitrogen gas. ECU monitors and controls the anti-lock function when required. So, in this lecture, we learn about the braking systems and then different types of braking systems are there. Okay, the components of braking systems and uh, according to the uh, different uh, features, uh, we see the classification of the brakes, then advantages, disadvantages and applications of brakes. So in this way, we finish our today's lecture. Thank you.